All right, Tony, congratulations. You've made it to the third level of this multi-level competition. Now, the judge you're competing against ABS Master Smith, Jay Nielsen, the beast from the east. You got your hands full with this one. Right. Have fun. Jay, welcome back. You know how this goes. You guys have eight hours to do a custom blade build. And at the end of that, we're going to award one of you a $10,000 prize. Now, in this third level of competition, we're going to be asking you guys to make short swords. They must measure between 20 and 22 inches in length. They must have a functional guard, a mechanically attached handle, and a pummel. That sounds easy enough, right? But you'll be making them out of these. Saw blades. From these saw blades, you must make a canister Damascus billet but not any canister Damascus billet, a no-can canister Damascus billet, which means that once you're done forge welding your can, you must peel off the outer layer of mild steel and use only the high carbon steel from inside your cans to forge your blades. All right, gents, your eight hour starts now. I'm gonna take the saw blades, I'm gonna stack them vertically, but I'm gonna leave about a 3 16 gap between each blade so that I can fill it up with 1095, and that's gonna be a, a cushion. I saw that bandsaw steel, so I figured, hey, great. Bandsaw blades make hard steel. I've got these two uh, billets in that I've tacked together in the forge, and I'm waiting. I get the right color, and I set the weld, and then I start drawing out my billet. Did I know that I was going to have almost twice as much as I needed? Yes. But I'm thinking in my head, what if I have a little D-limb? I can just cut that off and draw back to the length I need, and I'm golden. Tony's in the quench. I pull it out and oh, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I think Jay's gonna go for a quench. Jay just quenched. All right, Jay quenched. I pulled the blade out of the quench. It's straight. I'm happy. I'll check it. That sounds good. And it sings like a bird. Blade Smiths, you have just three hours remaining to finish your work. You've got to keep moving. You can't stop. So while the blade is in the tempering oven, I'm going to get back working on the handle and hardware. I picked the mild steel for the guard and pummel because I plan on blowing both of them. That's going to save me a little time in doing a high finish on it. I'm getting all the uh, hardware and, and handle scales fitted up, and then I'm going to get everything profiled out so everything fits right and tight. I got like 10, 12 minutes left, and I double check. Oh, over, and I'm like an eighth of an inch over parameters. Uh-oh. If I turn a blade that was out of parameters, you might as well just kick me off this show. Beautiful. Five, four, three, two, one. Wade Smith, shut down your machines, drop your tools. This level of competition is over. Good job on that, man. All right, bladesmiths, welcome to the keel test. Now it's time to find out what kind of lethal damage your short swords will do. To do that, I will take your weapons and deliver some lethal blows on this big carcass. Tony, you're up first. You ready for this? Absolutely. Nice cuts, man. I think that one's heavy, though. All right, Tony, let's talk about your sword here. It's a heavy beast. Yes. It's about four pounds on this. Requires more work to wield multiple times, but overall, it's a good chopper and slasher, and it will kill. <laughs> All right, Jay, you're up next. Are you ready? Do me a favor, heal it. Will do. I love the pig dust. Tony's blade did great, but uh, after 20 plus years of making knives, I'd better be confident going into this. Let's go. 
shortcuts. All right, Jay, let's talk about your short sword. First up, what I like about this, it's a lighter sword. You can wield this single-handedly and be able to do this all day because of its weight. Your handle construction is smooth. Everything's rounded. And this is a sharp edge. It cuts deeply into this pig carcass. Not very deep because the weight is not on the sword. I can wield it and cut accordingly. More importantly, sir, your sword, you'll heal. All right, gentlemen, it's time for the strength test, the pot shot. Now, this test is all about what those pots can do to the edge of your blades. Tony, you're up first. You ready for this? Yes, I am. Didn't break. Nice. All right, so Tony, everything's solid together perfectly. You've lost a little bit of edge right through here, just sort of packed out as opposed to chipped or rolled. But it's a neat looking design. Um, I think you did a great job. Thank you. All right, Jay, your turn. You ready? Go for it, Ben. <laughs> OK. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Jay, I like the balance of your blade. Uh, it's forward, but it's a light blade, so it, it's comfortable being up there. Uh, you lost a little bit of edge. Again, it's just kind of compacted. Blade solid. Did great. Feels good in the hand. Nice and done. Blade Smiths, to check out how much of your edge is still left on your blades, I'm going to be chopping at these sandmen. Tony, you're up first. You ready for this? Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> At this point in the competition, we're neck and neck. And it's going to come down to the sharpness test. Well, Tony, there is a sort of sweet spot to cut things. And this is where all of the damage from the pots went. Mm -hmm. And the first cut was probably a little further down into this sharp region. And it cut cleanly through the first arm. But when I came around to start hitting on those hips and the thighs, it was just kind of bludgeoning the Sandman instead of really cutting in nice and deeply. Other than that, it's a really interesting design. But man, this is a heavy, heavy sword. <laughs> all in all, it'll cut some stuff. OK. <laughs> all right, Jay, you're up next. You ready? All right, nonverbal communication. <laughs> well, <it> sucked. <laughs> All right, Jay. I love the weight of this weapon. I think it's perfectly balanced, and the, the weight is just a joy to swing. It didn't cut very well on a lot of the strikes. Did about halfway through on the wrist, and then mostly just scratches on the body. But all in all, I think you made a light, fast, fun weapon. So nice job. All right, gents, the judges' deliberation is complete. They've made their final decision. The winner of this Beat the Judges competition is. Jay Nielsen. Congratulations. $10,000 will be donated to the charity of your choice. What charity is that? It's Melanoma Foundation. All right, that is an excellent, excellent foundation. Tony, unfortunately, your blade didn't make the cut this time. Tony, this came down to a matter of weight. That short sword weighs more than really a two-hander should. So right. it did the job, but that weight is just extreme. Okay. Tony. Yeah. Hey, hey, good job. Good man. job, man. Yeah. Are you going to hug? Was that, was I was that gonna, I was gonna hug Like, that was an awkward moment where two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good job. Man. Yeah, Tony is a great competitor. He did a great piece, but you know, I squeaked ahead of him. Got $10,000 going to the Melanoma Foundation. I feel good. 
Well, this time I didn't beat the judge. You know, it never feels good to not win when you really go out and bust ass. But I've learned a lot. Don't make your blades too heavy. <laughs> good job, Jay. But watch out for next time. I'm coming back. <laughs>